I've anchored here to call on my friend Peter Prendergast. He was born in South Wales, but 30 years ago he washed up on this hill and felt immediately at home. He found he could live here and still compete with London artists. You've just had a bit, bit of a workout there, I think. It's, it's such a physical and such a gestural thing you're doing. But that's, that's you and that's your painting and that's how it should be. Well, well, well it seems to me if you, if you don't paint with some kind of vitality, uh, th there's no way you're going to get any kind of vitality of real life yeah. into the painting. So when I'm painting, from my own point of view, I feel I've got to try to be on my tiptoes. It's like a boxer. A boxer must never lose his temper. But there is a time when he's fighting, when he can't be thinking either, when he's got to be responding, and it's got to be spontaneous, but, but every move that he makes has to be a measured move. And it's a, a bit the same like making a painting. Mm. When you know that information inside out, you get to the point where hopefully you know it so well that you can forget about it and then you can respond to it. I'm very conscious over the last couple of years uh, where I've been dealing with commercial galleries I uh, always think that I was painting the best pictures I could paint. Realise that if I wasn't careful, I was beginning to make images which were of a domestic kind of nature, things which would fit on walls. I hadn't thought about that. And it seemed to me that, in a way, uh, I needed to get back to my youth and the enthusiasm I had when I was a kid. His pictures are gestural and very emotive. I find them strong and totally original. He's not a pretty painter, but the images are powerful. I like all landscape, but I like this particular landscape where I live. I like the turbulence of it. I like the fact that one minute it's raining and the next minute the sun is out. I like the ruggedness of it. I like the unpredictability of it. And what I'm trying to do, I mean, I know you can make a wonderful painting on a postage stamp, but for myself at the moment, I want to see at 54 whether I can still have the energy of, that I had when I was 18 or 19 and the ambition. Those are the problems you can't get away from. Art is always about solving problems, and ambition is part of what keeps us all going.